Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Music Mondays podcast. I'm your host, Zom Slays. Welcome on in, my friend. Happy Motherhood Monday. <clears throat> um, today is quite literally April 1st, my friends. April 1st. Um, March was kind of a long one, definitely, but um, we're chilling. We made it. We are all vibes now. So, like I said, I'm your host, Zom Slays. This is episode 167. Welcome, my friends. How we all doing? How we all doing? So, um, stack show for you guys tonight. Lots of um, submissions. We're going to go over some weekly recap stuff, Music Mondays updates, and a whole lot of other good jazz. So, uh, let's get into it, man. Well, let's get into it. Um, Crazy-ass week, to be honest with you. Like, that was... That was definitely one of the busiest weeks I've had in uh, in quite some time. I'm not going to lie to you, Chief. But uh, let's go over some weekly recap stuff and let's break it down. Loudest, what's good? I hope you're well. Welcome on in. Happy motherfucking Monday, baby. Right, let's get it. So, um, weekly recap stuff. Let's get into it. What happened at Music Mondays over the course of the last week or so. Uh, per usual, uh, we still have Music Monday's basic logo shirts in stock right now at small, medium, and large sizes. Uh, XL and double XL are sold out. So again, if you want to cop a piece while we still have them, definitely let us know. Hit us up and we'll be happy to get that sent out to you. Um, let's see. So we kicked off Tuesday with actually the monthly volume 7 curated by none other than myself, to be honest with you. Um, I did this month's uh, volume 7 out right now. For those of you that don't know, uh, the monthly is a staff exclusive curated playlist where we don't really uh, take submissions. We kind of do staff picks for the month and uh, really choose tracks that came out like over the course of the last couple of months, right? So the monthly volume seven is live now, curated by me, 15 to 20 tracks. Definitely go check that out. Um, let's see. So that was Tuesday. We take us into Thursday. Um, a brand new YouTube upload is live right now, actually. Uh, the Music Monday's staff role breakdown from episode 166 or 5, I believe. I think it was 165. Uh, for those of you that missed that, that's available on the YouTube channel right now. That's kind of a more detailed guide on Music Monday staff roles, what uh, each staff role consists of, what you'll be doing if you join the Music Monday's team, uh, all that good jazz. So uh, if you want more information on that, definitely go check that out and go show that some love for sure um so that was thursday and of course uh we're still one sub i think i think we're like one or one or two away from 260 so road to 260 is still very strong if you haven't subbed to the music monday's channel definitely go check it out and go uh drop a sub if you like what you see we upload two times a week every thursday every saturday uh full podcast episodes exclusive segments underground tips and tricks all that good jazz uh is available right now on the channel um let's see so that takes us into friday uh a brand new article is live right now by the homie jaded on allmusicmondays.com this one's kind of an interesting uh piece it's more of like a album breakdown on what it's like really putting out a body of work that you you know somewhat consider a project a full album things like that you know breaking it down cover art how you go about choosing songs features things like that so that's a really cool article um again written by the homie jaded so definitely go check that out uh, allmusicmondays.com uh, we've been putting out a lot of really high quality pieces over there um so definitely go check that out and go show jay some love for sure uh episode 166 of the music mondays podcast is available on all platforms including our youtube channel but huge shout out to everybody that's taking us on the go huge shout out to everybody that takes us on spotify on apple podcasts on google podcasts on amazon uh all that good stuff so huge shout out to you guys that take us on the go and huge shout out to everybody on the YouTube side of things. You guys are amazing. And per usual, uh, huge shout out to everybody that submitted, tuned in, and showed love. Um, let's see here. So that was Saturday. Uh, SoundCloud Sunday, volume 128 is live on our SoundCloud right now. That was, again, curated by me as well. Um, with art by uh, the homie Kyoko's Garden. So huge shout out to Kyoko. Um, SoundCloud Sunday, man. We're, we are really climbing up there. We're really climbing up there. 130 volumes is coming very soon, which I'm like super excited about, you know? So um, again, SoundCloud Sunday submissions open every uh, Wednesday. So if you're interested in getting on SoundCloud Sunday, make sure you keep your eyes peeled, follow us on socials. So you know when submissions open every single week. Uh, but again, huge shout out to everybody that submitted to SoundCloud Sunday. 
uh, last week and everybody that supported and showed love. So uh, that was your weekly recap. Uh, lots of good jazz going down at Music Mondays. Um, we'll have a couple announcements going up this week. I think we're going to add, well, actually, we already have added a uh, brand new staff member. So expect a new roster announcement, which will be really cool. I always love doing those. Um, so yeah, what's coming on Music Mondays? It's officially the start of April. Um, what do we have coming up? What's going down? Things like that. So, um, we're full steam ahead with our next album rollouts. Uh, Curing Cases of the Mondays Volume 2. So again, we're just getting some cover art finalized. Um, I really want to get the designers all involved, not just one person kind of do the cover. So that's going to be something that um, I work on very closely over the course of the next uh, couple of weeks with the staff. But um, that's the main thing here for April. Um, we're trying to get that art finalized, and then we can get submissions open to you guys and get everybody involved who wants to get on the second ever Music Mondays album. Um, shit, if all goes well, might be able to do some like physicals and shit like that, but um, that's neither here nor there. Um, but that'll be the pretty much main thing that we're... Uh, uh really focusing on as well and of course uh we're trying to get the rest of this merch out to you guys so anybody who hasn't purchased a t-shirt definitely let us know uh we'll be happy to get that shipped out to you as well and of course uh cyberfest 2 planning as well um so cyberfest 2 planning is is uh already in the works realistically um we have some potential uh lineups no dates yet no flyer yet, but we're just kind of ironing out like all the smaller details when we really think everybody's like available and things like that. So uh, I'm gonna need the staff on on uh, all hands on deck for sure. So um, those three major things going into quarter two, uh, April through June, are gonna be some things that we really uh, super super focus on as well. And of course, uh, we're trying to add a few more people to the roster as well. So uh, like I said, expect that announcement this week. And of course, your usual uh, monthly and weekly content will stay the same. Um, YouTube stuff is already, again, in the works, like I spoke about last week. Um, a couple of those dates should be getting finalized here uh, relatively soon for some new guests for YouTube content, right? We're going to uh, bring back Workshop Wednesday. We're going to get back uh, Feature Friday. Um, the breakdown and behind the merch. So we have a lot of like really cool stuff planned when it comes to uh, the YouTube side of things. So that'll be a big heavy focus in quarter two as well. So um, I'll be I'll be ironing out a lot of that with the staff uh, tomorrow because I should be meeting with them. So obviously watching this live uh, Tuesday. But uh, yeah, so those are like the big bulletins off the top of my head that uh, Music Mondays is actually like super focusing on right now. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for a lot of like major announcements. But like I said, uh, your weekly and monthly content will stay the same. And uh, we're playing around with some more ideas as far as new playlist goes and things like that. So, um, again, heading into quarter two in April, relatively strong. So I'm excited. Um, we got a good hold on things. Uh, staff's doing really well. So uh, I'm definitely ready for spring. That's a fact, my friends. Fact. So um, lots coming and uh, lots to do. So uh, that's what's coming over the course of the next month or so. Uh, next couple weeks and things like that. Um, but before we get into, um, uh, some reactions and reviews, I had a interesting topic that I kind of wanted to discuss with you all, um, here on the show for sure. Now, this is definitely a topic that we've spoke about before. I, I definitely feel like we've spoke about it before, but, um, it's one of those topics that I feel like you you could really talk about like every every couple of months or even fucking you know as 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 often as it happens right as often as it happens but uh, what we're gonna discuss here actually is uh, something very simple communication now what do I mean by that what the fuck are you talking about so. Um, when it comes down to communication, right? Um, communication between artists and your friends and your mutuals, um, should always, you know, be somewhat deep, right? It, it's not exactly easy to, uh, keep up communications, you know, 24 seven, right? Like, um, you know, that's why people get managers and, and things like that. But, 
Um, communication is so key between you and your fellow artists, man. And I don't think that's talked enough about, right? Because, like, when you're reaching out to, like, media platforms or, you know, say something like Music Mondays, for instance, right? Like, we don't have anybody dedicated to fully answering DMs all the time. So maybe communications for, like, larger platforms and companies are going to take a bit. That's really not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about here is artist to artist interaction, right? Or artist to producer, artist to engineer, um, just artist to artist, creator to creator, if you will. And uh, I noticed that a lot of people um, definitely struggle with communication. Like they are either flaky, they don't answer, you get left on delivered, open, things like that. But I think, you know, the bigger bigger issue here is is just like i think people try to align themselves with people that you know take their career seriously so for instance like say you have a friend who might not be all that into music or they don't go as hard as you do right they don't promote all the time but they still like do the occasional whatever like they're still a producer artist whatever but maybe they don't go as hard as you right and therefore their communication kind of lacks and their communication falls off and therefore if you're going to try to stick around with them right and you know build with them it eventually turns into a problem because people who don't communicate usually hold things up right like you know say you're waiting on cover art or say you're waiting on a beat or say you're waiting on an engineer and you know someone's not answering or x y or z like that's like it kind of goes back into the thing of like you got to know like what you want out of this and where you see your career so that way you can like associate with the appropriate people right like shouldn't be doing commissions for instrumentals or engineering or anything like that if you're not taking your own craft seriously yourself, right? So, like, you can't just really, like, fall back on it and be like, oh, yeah, well, I got life stuff and blah, 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 blah. That's just bullshit because you're surrounding yourself with people who take themselves seriously, right, and, and like, are actually trying to build um, a career and a brand and their work. So that's where the conflict of interest kind of comes in. And I feel like a lot of those people kind of use that as an excuse, like, oh, like, you know, I got IRL stuff, I got this, I got that, I got a kid. Like, all those fucking excuses are just bullshit, right? Because we've seen artists who come from way worse situations than you can even imagine, right? Uh, artists with kids go way farther than most other artists without kids, right? So, like, a lot of the excuses that people kind of make for themselves are usually bullshit, you know what I mean? Like, like because nine times out of ten, somebody's already done it. And probably from a worse place than you already are right now. So that's one thing you got to remind yourself, man, is, is like, if you're going to fall back on those excuses, like, don't get me wrong, like, like, everybody falls on hard times. That's not what I'm talking about. Like, uh, just let people know. That's why I think the communication thing is, like, imp is, is like important. Because you can't be mad at somebody who's going through it, but you can be mad at them if they're not communicating with you, you know, about a mix or cover art or a beat, and then they fire back at you with some excuse like oh blah 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 blah. i've been going through it that's that's all good and fine but you know when we started to create this project or do this work or whatever you weren't going through it right and and people just kind of like they try to blur the line a little bit and i think communication would help that a bit more you know what i mean so so just communicate with people right like be honest and be open with people like for one that's how you build relationships but two um that's how you, like, actually, like, be respectful to people and don't, like, tarnish your kind of name, right? Because um, that's your name that you're going to be working for, you know what I mean? Like, that's you. That falls on you. So for anybody to kind of come through and, and just, like, treat themselves like that and then in turn treat, you know, their mutual artists like, you know, nothing's that big of a deal or they're flaking or this or that and a third, like, not good not good and, and and i see a lot of that behind closed doors between a lot of crews not even just my teams like i see a lot of third party shit that i'm just like man some of the stuff that i hear people go through from people that like they consider friends or you know day ones or you know you've been working together forever and then all of a sudden you know joe blow runs off with your money but you can't like lash out because like you've known the dude for years or something so like there's a lot of that there th there is definitely a lot of that and and i think um i think that's why we keep everything so transparent and open here at music mondays and super tight is because like that's the shit that i've seen time and time again and i always want to just like stay clear of those people because they don't they don't know what they want out of their own art right so you can't expect them to like help your art either 
Um, even if it is like a good friend or a homie or anything like that, you know what I mean? Like shit, like people have family that they don't even talk to, you know what I mean? Fuck a friend, you know? Um, blood is not thicker than water and vice versa. So, um, one of those things that, uh, you know, I definitely think people should consider, right? And, and like, we're all guilty of it. Um, it's not possible to just be on communication vibe, like 24 seven, right? Like, it's just not possible. Um, but don't ghost people. I think that's a big issue. Like, e like even if it takes like a day or two to get back to people or like a couple days, like, I think that's way more valid than like just ghosting people, leaving them undelivered, leaving them on red, especially when like, you know, it's a commission or somebody you said you'd work a project on or da 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 da. Like that just, it's, it's bad looks, man. It's bad looks. And it's not something that I would, um, make a habit of. You know what I mean? I definitely wouldn't want to make a habit of that. And, and that's my suggestion is to just don't make a habit of it, right? Like, like I get it. Like, not everybody can be grinding 24-7, right? Like, this is my job, so that's how I manage to do all the shit that I do. But for the other people, like, I, I would just get on a schedule and just spend a certain amount of time, like, um, answering messages every 24 hours, right? So whether it's at night or it's during the day or whatever, whatever. Like, set some fucking communication hours for yourself so you're not leaving people in the dust. Especially if, like, you know, you're trying to take your career seriously. You know what I mean? Um, and actually grow yourself. So that's one thing is uh, communication, man. Communication is so, so important. And uh, everybody needs to be reminded of that for sure. And like I said, like, nobody's perfect, right? Not me, not you, not, not anybody. Like, <clears throat> sometimes shit happens and you got to recharge the social battery and people... Uh, but people lack and you know it happens but as long as you recognize it and you're like yo um i need like a day or two to like recoup myself or whatever whatever and we'll talk more about this tomorrow like that's a lot more respectable than just not fucking answering people right i think that's that, like like that's where a lot of these relationships get kind of rocky is is because it's like there's no communication it's like hot like i'm not in your head you know what i mean so if you're not telling me what's going on with you or in your life or this or that how the fuck can you like be surprised when people get mad or people don't fuck with you or this that, and the third uh people are just gonna start leaving you behind you know what i mean like and they're gonna get it done like especially the 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 real hustlers and like the people that want to do this shit they're just gonna leave you behind you know what i mean and that's not what i want that's that's not a good thing for anybody so again um just a fair message you know fair warning uh communication is key it always has been and always will be um just respect people and you know you, you you don't you don't have to be a fucking 24 hour walmart right but um you know if somebody spends their hard-earned money with you or you said you'd work on a project with somebody or you know you said you give somebody a connection or whatever like just just go through with it man just go through with it and 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 at least respect the person's time for sure I think I think that's a big thing, especially if you consider the person a friend, right? I I I think if like it's it's a fucking homie, like you should want to do that. You know what I mean? Like me, like I I don't relate to any of these people because like I, I just it's not who I am, right? But I also think it's like a little bit different for everybody because everybody's personality is different, right? So, um, but yeah, point is, man, uh, communication is key. If you've always had trouble with communication or you've just kind of always had trouble uh consistently responding back to people man just uh you know set some time set some time for yourself kind of fucking you know set aside some time like per day for 24 hours or just do better at it realistically like like i said a lot of the excuses that people use is just like bullshit you know what i mean because i've once again seen people come from like way worse spots than i have and and continue to go as hard as they ever did so well, not I'm I'm not I'm not a heavy excuse guy if you're not respectful, you know what I mean? Like cuz like I, I, like everybody kind of goes through it, right? But you still got to be respectful. Like you can't just like let life fall apart and fucking let all your relationships fall apart just cuz you're going through it. Like that's that's a part of like uh maturing as a human, right? Is is to just be able to like respect other people and respect their time, especially if you care about them, right? Like I don't think that's too much to ask. So yeah, uh communication is key with your fellow peers, man. Um, obviously I'm not talking about bigger companies or, or platforms or emails or things like that. Just, just your artist to artist conversations, right? You know, conversations you might have with an engineer, producer, another vocalist, anything like that. Right. So, 
uh just want to speak on that for a second and uh, of course that'll be uploaded to the channel so make sure you like the video drop comments and let us know what you think about communication because that's an important one definitely something that uh uh i wanted to kind of dive in on again man because fuck i i, I still see people kind of like immersing themselves with like more serious artists knowing that they're not as serious and it's like bro like what the fuck is going on here you know what i mean so just crazy shit chat absolutely crazy shit but regardless you guys know what time it is let's get into some reactions and reviews let's get it so uh for those of you that are new here and don't know the drill this is the drill uh tweets are always in the same format every week they always read arts and creatives live reviews on music mondays Live on April 1st, 2024 at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is here and now. Um, like I said, uh, tweets are always in the same format. So again, um, um, the only thing that changes is the dates, right? So just make sure you check the date, drop your link, and all that good jazz, and you'll be good to go. Uh, but like I said, which is here and now, twitch.tv slash sound plays. If you'd like to submit your music, artwork, fashion, or digital creations, drop your links and portfolios below. All art forms are welcome. Uh, many of you know, contrary to our name, Music Mondays, we've reacted to everything here on the show, from instrumentals, to vocals, to YouTube edits, to merch, to merch designs, to photography, to videography, so, uh, you name it, make sure you submit it, if you feel like, uh, you deserve some spotlight on Music Mondays, because we'd be happy to have you. Um, and again, that's always just for one simple reason, the fact that, uh, all creators are multi-talented, right, so we want to make sure we give spotlight to everybody, um, and give them a chance as well. So, um, that's that on that, um... For our show limit, of course, just to make the show a little bit more palatable to watch back. Um, you know, realistically, you could argue, as I always say, that a, uh, a four-hour show uh, is still pretty long, but um, definitely not as long as, as uh, some of the older shows that we used to do, uh, for sure. So, uh, four-hour show limit, must be following Music Mondays on Twitter to be eligible. Uh, per usual, uh, submissions are free. They always have been free. They always will be free. Uh, but the only thing that we do ask is that you uh, submit to Music Mondays, or uh, follow Music Mondays before you submit. Um, of course, not only to help uh, spread our platform and, and spread our message, but of course just to uh, pay respect to everybody else that does uh, wait for their tracks and uh, submissions to be reacted to. And of course you gain access to a uh, wonderful variety of, of uh, very welcoming creators. So, uh, kind of a win-win in my book. And uh, of course, Patreon subscribers' submissions are played first each week uh, if you're subscribed to our Patreon at any tier, you gain access to the Music Mondays Fast Pass. And once again, any tier, and you get access to the Music Mondays Fast Pass. What is the Music Mondays Fast Pass? Well, if you're a Patreon, for the duration that you're subscribed to the Music Mondays Patreon, you can submit your tracks here on the show, and they'll be guaranteed to be played first every single week. Or again, the duration that you're pledged. So say you pledged, you know, uh, today on the 1st of April, you'll have your tracks played first here on the show uh, for the whole month, realistically. So uh, feel free to go check out our Patreon because uh, the Music Money's Fast Pass is just one of the many things that we have over there. Um, just extra goodies, extra ways to promote yourself. A lot of it's centered around the podcast, but now we're kind of uh, moving towards ways that uh, we could center the Patreon around like other stuff as well. So definitely go check out our Patreon. And huge shout out to all our Patrons uh, right now. You guys are fucking amazing. Uh, so outside of that, I think the only thing that we need to discuss is uh, submissions close. So, uh, submissions close about uh, a couple hours before the show starts. Not too, not too close, but usually a good rule of thumb is uh, if you see the show live, uh, submissions are usually closed. Of course, that usually kind of uh, uh, just prevents, you know, kind of late submissions, messing up the orders and things like that. And plus, uh, gives us a way to really uh, get a head count and see what the show's looking like for the night. So again, uh, you have about six and a half days or so to submit your tracks, which, I mean, obviously plenty of time. So uh, just keep that in mind. Once the show is live, submissions are closed. Uh, outside of that, that's all we needed to discuss, my friends. So we can hop right in to submissions per usual. And of course, if you have any questions uh, about literally anything that has to do with the Music Money podcast, we just recently uploaded a brand new guide on our YouTube channel, on how to submit to the Music Mondays podcast in 2024. So again, if that is something you're interested in, and, uh, you know, something you want to get uh, uh, involved in, 
and want to know more about, uh, definitely go check that out. 100%. Brand new updated 2024 guide. Okay, so I don't believe we have any patrons tonight. Um, I believe it's just all community. Uh, well, everybody's a part of the community, right? But uh, no patron submissions, just regular submissions tonight. So let's get into it. We got the homie JT. It's been a couple of weeks since we heard from JT, man. Um, a very, very, very talented alternative hip hop artist submitted when the moonlight dies. Oldie but a goodie from 2022. So yeah, definitely not brand new, but not super, super old, right? Uh, yeah, no, about, about, about two years, about two years, okay. All right, let's get into it, JT, when the moonlight dies. Fire cover. Beat is so good, bro. That was fantastic that was absolutely fantastic um you could tell that it was like one of those older kind of gems right like somebody's a library but but it, it, it holds up if i'll be honest like like it definitely holds up so that's one thing i definitely noticed is it's it very it, it 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 uh aged well if you will right so i think that's totally cool um so let's break this one down um let's talk about it so we're gonna talk about three things we're talking about the instrumental we're talking about vocals and we're talking about the overall theme of when the moonlight dies so um yeah i'm big on the instrumental man i love this choice i love the instrumental choice a lot um it's because this is like my style right this this is like my personal bias here but uh i i've always loved this uh alt rock style so um great instrumental choice 100 percent, 100 percent. um the mix is fantastic be honest with you nothing clashing to overbearing drums were solid from sound selection uh the melody was great yeah nothing that like stuck out to me that was a bit off um especially the vocals like everything kind of cut through nicely vocals sat nice nothing that was like <clears throat> kind of like overly uh noticeable right so um <clears throat> instrumental mix fantastic um instrumental shining star question um hmm. you know i love the melody a lot and i like the drums a lot but i feel like the structure was really well done it had this like real chill 
uh, kind of progression to it. Like it, it, it wasn't plain whatsoever. So I love the instrumental structure a lot. Um, I like when everything comes back in and, and how it's all laid out. So yeah, uh, I think I'm going to go with structure for sure, but the drums and melody are, uh, an easy close second. Definitely. Um, okay. So instrumental solid, uh, definitely in structure. Let's talk vocals. Um, vocal mix. Okay, so again, with all things considered, this is a track from 2022. So obviously, uh, things have progressed since this track. So for what it is, I think it's solid, and especially for like the style that I think JT was going for. I think it was good. It was raw, left a lot of the emotion, but it's also two years old, right? So, um, everything kind of improves after some time, but. For what this track is, I thought this was great. Um, perfect style of mixing, to be honest. Again, not too like uh, raw, but not too like processed either. Kind of hits like the middle mark. You can actually like leave all the emotion in there, you know. Uh, so very important. So, um, <clears throat> vocal mix solid, definitely. Um, and like I said, drums cut through nicely, vocals sit nice in the instrumental. Uh, so definitely no gripes at all. Definitely not. Um, vocal Shining Star. Uh, I kind of like the flow and cadence, right? But I think the writing is what really sold me here. I feel like JT definitely like wrote their ass off for this. And really spoke from the heart. So I appreciate like the genuine lyric. Because um, that's where you, you can usually draw from like your your uh self is is like you just you just end up making like the best music ever you know that that you've ever made because you're drawing from such like a pure place right um whether you're sad mad happy angry whatever like i think a lot of you know at, at least for me right or even most artists um it comes from a place of like raw emotion for sure no matter what the emotion is so um for me gotta be lyrics gotta be lyrics for sure um so instrumental solid uh definitely structure vocal solid definitely the lyrics uh let's talk theme uh aesthetics fantastic cover like you guys know how i feel about the uh the irl shots right always a safe bet light edit little fucking blurring going on there little fucking you know mix up so yeah no nah. um this was solid definitely solid i like this pick especially for like a more acoustic al alternative kind of bass track i thought this was a great pick as well so, uh, cover on point, absolutely. Um, overall theme, and the moonlight dies. So, realistically, this this definitely has like a deeper meaning, uh, for JT. But I do think that you know a lot of people could get a lot of different perspectives from this, right? You could kind of take even like the title. Like I feel like the title really tells all. Uh, you know, almost like. Like, this track feels like that 5 a.m. to, like, 6 a.m. kind of hour where the moon kind of does go down, right? And and then the sun comes back up. So it's not exactly, like, a very, like, emotionally sad kind of track, but it's definitely pulling from a place of emotion, for sure. But I think there's a lot of emotion throughout this whole song that's just, like, a little bit uh, um, personal, right? Like, like, it's a very, like, personal, like, POV kind of story. Very very um descriptive and very poetic as well so it's one of those themes that like if you get something from it great if you don't great because you're still gonna enjoy the sounds but um this is one of those tracks man that you that you kind of make when uh you feel you feel some type of way right and and you really do end up with like real interesting hits like this so uh this is solid man this is really really solid i like this a lot uh, huge, huge shout out to JT. Make sure you go follow them on Spotify. Thank you so much for the submission, my friend. And of course, make sure you follow JT on Twitter. Uh, they're approaching 5.6k on the bird app, my friend. So make sure you go show them some love over there on Twitter. And uh, of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube re-upload. And of course, make sure you motherfucking subscribe if you haven't already. We are approaching 260 Gabaroonies. Uh, we upload two times a week, every Thursday, every Saturday, full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, all a lot of good stuff is available over there. So make sure you go show these artists on the channel. Some motherfucking love. And if you already have, thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you. My name is my friends.
Let's get it. All right, chat. Let's see who is next. All right, so we left off with the homie JT. Up next is the homie Survival and Negativity. Survival's been killing it lately, man. Uh, absolutely been killing it for sure. Um, let's see. One of the first releases from this bar heavy boom bab at its finest. Okay, so uh, Survival and Negativity. Uh, a very, very talented hip-hop artist submitted Meeting in the Throne Room. Now, um, this is an artist who has been killing it all over the place, whether it be collab projects, collectives, um, so much stuff. So much, so much stuff. So um, let's see here. We got the homie Sin again, like I said. Dropped from November 12th, 2022. So definitely not, not brand new at all. So let's go take a look. Let's see what we got here. Sin, Meeting in the Throne Room. It's a marathon, not a sprint. That's why the tortoise enjoys the finish line at the end. Just a hair away from victory. Too sweet to share the taste. Leave the plate bare. Carry it away in mystery. Leave him whispering, wondering how you've done it. Intentionally, you're off luck. Be a lady and you're a sent through the leaves. Gotta steal to eat. Gotta eat to live. I tell you all about it when I got the time to find my freedom from the demon's grip. Demon time until I okay. deem it fit to seek redemption. Till then, every beat is picked with the intentions to leave a strip clean. No traces of a Ooh. previous SMC on it. Of it in the team, we resuscitate that feeling when we breathe on it. Dying breed, breeze to any device or scheme. Scheme to get the monopoly and leave the minute it's not received. Like, what you got for me? Show me the goods. Got what you want if you got what I need. Know what we could do if we linked up, synced up, like naps kinked up. The lock shit down, the last kinks up. Got this down, and have this run, but not this crown. See, heavy is the head, but you too light in the ass to keep it steady. The throne room has mm, no mm, room mm. for old jewels. The old rules still apply when you try to push this fill up by the nobles. Denied. We told you if at first you don't succeed, and try again. We lied. Don't let the door hit you, don't let it sting your pride. In and out of many circles in life. No matter what cypher you see me in, don't pass me nothing but the mic. Hey, yo, sin. Hey, yo, Jeff. Hey, yo, see, I go sin. When they see me grow sin and my rhymes exploding before my name was blowing up like C4. Y'all acting like you ain't know him. I had okay. to free y'all. Energy had my momentum slowing. Those on that seesaw changing like the ocean. I no longer need y'all. It's called growing. And now it's time to be an animal. A lyrical cannibal. Eating beasts just like hand. Hello, Floris is factual. This dope MC is actual. So hard and masterful. His mass as bars as attributes. Cover his mouthpiece because he rhymes sharper than Dragon Tooth. When I speak, I flow smoother than Michael Jackson's shoes. Lyrics have you spinning. Jesus, like okay. No wonder the Lord broke the mold, burned the fucking manual. All these mumble rapid bastards stay right in your avenue. All that babbling, not even babbles understanding you. And I know you're thinking, not another pun because I'm a fat Puerto Rican who flows. Second to none, man. Sit back and suck your teeth until you dry up your gums. And truthfully, it ain't no secret that's a compliment, son. Gaslighting narcissists, stay the fuck far from this. Only gaslighting that I'm coming with is for the split. Don't shake my hand and give me oh my god. If you've been talking shit, sit back and get mad when you see how far I get. Time for big, no one execute absolute. That's Holy the truth. Shit. After you got more drip than the past is soup. Watch a garbage album drop like a trash to shoot. And my balls are great for the heart like it's passion fruit plus my rhymes are full of flavor like a plate of spanish food more of the story this mc right here will damage you uh, don't you already know that i'm remarkably skilled the beast the blueprint and the pins the carpenter drill even with carpet tunnel guarantee i will still grab the mic and let her flow roll like the car down the hill with no one behind the wheel it's so neutral but let's keep it real the usual give a hand don't hold they try to steal true be told no arguing if i'm arguably ill the harm is allowing the harmless to bargain your skills me i'm the opposite when i rhyme i transform like optimism no one went in bro there's still time for me to be on top of this i miss Holy myself shit. whenever i write some high that shit feeling like my boys are baptized inside a lava pit fuck these new rappers mumbling they google 
I got shit. Make it in this entertainment so only y'all don't suck the dick. Never in my life that I thought it would come to this. So I was in to bring me in the murder of be like this. From the house of incredible skills and we wrecking shit. Representative, I'm the president that's taking precedent. Cause it's evident this veteran is heaven sent to represent one for the elements. Hip hop to me is effortless. Like breathing, no wonder I'm fresher than the peppermint. Signing off sincerely yours, big no with Genesis. No shot. This. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, that was fucking crazy. Um, wow. What? Let me refer back to that caption for a second. One of the first releases from this, a bar heavy boom bap at its finest. Yeah, I think that's a really fucking perfect way to describe that. Um, bar heavy boom bap for sure. Like, wow. That was like 4.30 and that was like all bars all the way through. Holy shit. Okay, um, let's break it down, man. Let's talk about it. Uh, we're talking about three things. We're talking about the instrumental, we're talking about vocals, and we're talking about the overall theme of meeting in the throne room. So, uh, instrumental. Fantastic pick. Uh, Survival and Negativity definitely knows how to pick their own instrumentals for sure. Um, <clears throat> they're very like lo-fi-ish, boom bap, alt hip-hop. Like, kind of like classic hip hop uh, kind of area. So, they have a really good ear for what they sound good on and what they want, right? So, uh, I like the choice, of course. Um, let's talk mix. Uh, instrumental mix. Uh, great, actually, to be honest. Um, especially for a track that's like uh, two years old now, right? Uh, so, yeah, no, that mix is definitely solid. Like, this this track actually aged really well. Uh really, really well, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like November twelfth to twenty. Yeah, so not even two years yet. But it aged really well, especially when it comes down to the mix. Um so yeah, the mix again, fantastic. Nothing clashing to overbearing. Nothing that really uh tweaked me out at all. Vocals sit nice for sure, per usual, especially for something from two years ago. Uh everything cuts through nicely, so yeah. Uh no gripes with the instrumental at all. Um, instrumental shining star. It's got to be the melody, right? Like the drums are definitely up there, but that melody, like by the time the song ends, you definitely have that melody like all in your head for sure, like a hundred percent. So, um, yeah, definitely the melody. Melody clears for me, but obviously the drums are great too, right? Especially the uh, sound selection, hundred percent. But melody for me, definitely. Uh, vocals. Let's talk vocals. Vocal mix. Uh, great, to be honest. Uh, nothing clashing to overbearing. Nothing that really, like, stuck out to me is off, right? Uh, survival and negativity. Uh, quite obviously know it too. Is two vocalists that really have, like, a solid, raw, natural voice. So not too much processing is required, right? You just want to clean it up a bit. Freshen it up. Uh, make it sound nice. And then, uh, you're, you're really good to go, to be honest with you. Um, but how it sits on the song is great. Drums cut through nicely, like I said. Um, vocals sit nice in the instrumental. So yeah, nothing, other than that really stuck out to me that was off. I feel like levels were good too, so mix was great. Um, vocal Shining Star. Uh, I'm really torn between writing and flow and cadence. Flow and cadence especially, like, I'm like, oh, shit. Uh, it could be flow and cadence, but writing in general is really crazy too. So it's like, uh, honestly, probably, probably flow and cadence and delivery. I feel like the writing was fantastic, but these are two like really confident artists right here. But I felt like because the flow and the cadence and like the delivery of everything was so confident that it just made all the writing that much better. Uh, I can't have one without the other, right? So, uh, uh, flow and cadence and delivery, for sure, sure. Um, okay, uh, so, let's talk theme, because instrumental fantastic, definitely melody, vocal solid, uh, definitely flow and cadence and delivery. Aesthetics, um, 
I like this cover a lot. This is kind of like a rare color. I feel like not a lot of people use this kind of like uh, color palette, right? Like this white and gold kind of deal. I like this a lot. I like this a lot for sure. Um, text at the top matches the white. Producer creds down bottom. And it has like the fire. Yeah, no, like I don't think there's much more you could want for, for uh, a single like this, you know? So art and aesthetics definitely on point. Uh, overall theme, again, referring back to the caption, man, um, bar heavy boom bap at its finest, quite literally. I think that was a perfect way to describe this. Um, I completely agree. You know what I mean? Like, took the words from my mouth, 100%. Because um, usually sometimes these songs don't really need a theme, right? Uh, sometimes it's quite literally, like, all about the writing, all about the punchlines, all about the bars. Um, especially when it comes to, like, survival, just kicking it off, and then you have Noah, like, really finishing it off, like, for, like, the last minute. Really, really crazy. So, Definitely some writing in um, some bars in here to absorb, absolutely. And of course, uh, just one of those tracks that's really meant to like take in all the lyrics and like just really like appreciate uh, the writing for sure. So uh, with that said, huge shout out to Survival Negativity. Thank you so much for the submission, my friend. Much, much love. Make sure you go follow them on uh, Bandcamp. And of course, make sure you go follow them on Twitter as well. They're approaching 340 followers. They're about four away. So go show them some love in the bird app, my friends. And of course, uh, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube free upload. Uh, and of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Monday's YouTube channel if you haven't already. We're approaching 260 subaroonies, man. We upload two times a week, every Thursday, every Saturday. Full podcast episode. This segment's a whole lot of good jazz is over there. Make sure you go show these artists and the channel some love. Let's get it. All right. Um... Let's see here. All right, so we ended off with uh, the homie Sin. Uh, up next is Offspring Mysterious. Now, Offspring uh, has had a really consistent 2024. Uh, lots of YouTube uploads, lots of edits, lots of everything. But a multi-talented producer submitted Music Arts Awakening State. And Offspring sent back with more art. I am ready, my friend. Let's do this. I'm absolutely ready. All right, so let's get a little, uh, let's get a little 720 in here. Go full volume. Let's go full screen. Let's get into it. Offspring of Serious Music Art Awakening State. I also think this is an offspring beat we haven't heard. Or if we have, it's been forever. Okay. W outro as well. Holy shit, this is a year old? That's crazy. That's really crazy that that's a year old. That seems like new. 
not gonna lie, that's that's definitely crazy that that's a year old. Wow. Holy shit. Okay. All right. Let's talk about it, chat. Um, we're gonna talk about two things. Obviously, we're gonna talk about music, art, uh, the edit that we have here, and then uh, I think we can talk about uh, Awakening State because I don't think we've reacted to this track, and if we have, it's definitely been a long time because uh, we definitely haven't seen this one uh, whatsoever. So um, let's talk um, instrumental. Let's talk Awakening State uh, mix and um all that good jazz so uh instrumental mix very interesting especially i assume this is like an older track too so i'm, I'm just gonna take a wild guess that this could be an older track yeah four years ago so the mix is definitely like a bit uh i, w I wouldn't say dated right but but it is like a bit of an older mix sure but obviously four years ago so relatively older track uh, but for what it is, solid. Definitely solid. Um, nothing clashing too bad. Nothing too, too overbearing. Uh, I thought the drums were solid. Um, overall, a very, like, even and, like, level mix. Nothing that, like, stuck out to me that was, like, super off. Especially, if, you know, considering, you know, a track from, like, 2020. So, um, mix is solid for what it is. 100%. Um, hmm... Instrumental Shining Star. You know, drums were definitely up there. I feel like the drums were definitely out there, but but the melody was very like rememberable. It was a very rememberable kind of melody for me. Um so I'm gonna go ahead and say melody for sure. Just because it it, it it had that uh replayability factor to it as well. So uh definitely melody. Definitely. Um Okay, so instrumental solid, definitely the melody, mix solid. Let's talk about uh music art. So um Shining Star with th this edition of music art. So literally about a year old, a little over a year, right? So this one has a lot of the current solid uh editing skills that Offspring has now. Looking back on this one, this one definitely aged relatively well. Uh, just because, like, it, it really projected Offspring into, like, a whole different, whole different kind of course, right? Especially with, like, a lot of the stuff that they do now. Um, it's very interesting. Very, very interesting. I would say for this edit, a lot of the transitions were really solid. So, Shining Star for me has got to be, like, a lot of these transitions. Especially the one that, uh, kind of like a photo transition as well. That one was really solid. There were... There's a few in here that I thought were like really decent. So it's gotta be the editing and the post processing for Um definitely. A hundred percent. Like a lot of like the glitchy transitions, absolutely. A hundred percent. So instrumental solid, definitely the melody. Music art solid, definitely the post processing and um transitions. Well done, Offspring. This was solid. Solid little gem that uh we didn't have a chance to go over yet, so uh, with that said, a huge shout out to Offspring of Series. Thank you so much for their submission. Uh, make sure you go submit to or uh, subscribe to their channel. They are one sub off of 200. So go come to 200, man. Let's fucking get it. Uh, and of course, make sure you go uh, follow Offspring of Series on Twitter per usual. They are six followers away from 920. So go show them some love on the bird at my friends. Let's get it. And of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube re upload. Uh, and of course, like I said, make sure you subscribe to Music Monday's YouTube channel, man. Uh, we upload two times a week, every Thursday, every Saturday. Full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, a whole lot of good stuff is available over there. So go show these artists and the channel some motherfucking love. If you already have, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we appreciate you here at Music Mondays. Let's get it. So uh, up next, we have the homie Flux. Uh, it's been a while since we heard from Flux, at least like, you know, mid-2023 or something like that. So... Um, definitely excited to see what Flux has been up to, my friends. Definitely excited. Uh, now Flux being a super talented alternative artist and producer submitted WMD. Hmm, what does Music Mondays think of the latest Flux drop? Well, let's find out, my friend. Let's find out. I am down. WMD official audio from the homie Flux. Let's go. I'm with it. 
been a while since you heard from Flux. Again, a very talented alternative vocalist and producer. WMD. Let's go. <laughs> Instrumental is fantastic too. very peaceful <gasps> okay usual links in description you guys know the drill you guys definitely know for sure okay um this was great let's talk about it let's break down first flux track in uh quite some time actually so um we're talking about three things per usual uh we're talking about the instrumental we're talking about vocals and we're talking about the overall theme of WMD. So, um, hmm. Okay. So let's talk instrumental. Um, mix, fantastic. Uh, Flux is also a very talented producer. So no shocker to me that the mix is great. Um, no gripes whatsoever. Um, sound selection is great. Drums are great. Melodies are great. Vocals sit nice. Drums cut through nicely. What more could you want? You know what I mean? Everything's nice and level. Um, bass is great. Like, there is, there's, like, quite literally nothing uh, that I would change about this uh, as far as the instrumental mix goes, for sure. Uh, so that's very much on point. Not really a shocker, but for those of you that knew here, that are new here, uh, definitely, definitely something you want to point out, right? Um, instrumental Shining Star. Uh, you know, I was going to, you know, I, I was going to say Melody. I was going to say Melody, but I just feel like that's a little... Like, it's easy to say the melody, right? Because it was, like, gas. But at the same time, um, I feel like the structure was great. I feel like it, it was a very great, great structure when uh, the instrumental chills out a bit, when the instrumental comes back in. I feel like the structure was great. Uh, totally what this needed, for sure. Because, like, you, like you could have done, like, your basic kind of structure or whatever, but I felt like this one was, like, really fucking on point. For sure. Um, absolutely. So... 
structure, definite shining star. Let's talk vocals. Uh, vocal mix, uh, definitely solid. Definitely solid. I like the post processing done on it, uh, but it's not too too um, overly processed, which is which is definitely solid, especially for like this kind of style. You want to let some of that emotion kind of uh, seep through for sure. So I felt like Flux um, has a good like middle ground here, definitely. Uh, for sure, right where it needs to be. Nothing clashing to overbearing. Again, drums definitely cut through n very nicely, actually. Um, vocal sit nice. Nothing, nothing again, that, that, that really, like, stood out to me that was, like, super off-putting or anything like that, so. Um, vocal mix, fantastic. Absolutely. Um, hmm. Vocal shining star. Now, this one's kind of interesting. I was going to go with the hook. Okay. I was definitely going to go with the hook. But um it could be writing either, either, either the hook or writing to be honest with you because i do feel like the writing throughout the whole track was actually very honest and very like um um very like storytelling like for sure definitely told a story or at least felt like it right um so for me gotta be writing gotta be writing 100 percent um without a doubt no question um so instrumental solid, uh, definitely a structure. Vocal solid, definitely the writing. Uh, a sock theme. Uh, aesthetics are fucking great, especially for a track like this, man. Um, like I'm just such a big fan of of these types of covers, so I'm obviously biased here, but um, I love these. I love these types for alt tracks, acoustic tracks, things like that, man. It it always has this like. Foliage, skyline, kind of peaceful aesthetic, right? Uh, especially for a song that is about trials and tribulations and turmoil. So uh, aesthetics definitely on point for me, absolutely. Uh, so overall theme, mm, uh, this one's interesting, right? So obviously a very honest track without a doubt, but also one of those tracks that, much like the first track of the night tonight, um, one of those that you create as an artist because you need to get certain feelings and thoughts out, and it's one of those big reasons as to why, you know, you should continue to make music and you should never quit, because, like, it's such a great outlet to be able to, like, facilitate some, like, really shitty emotions that you might otherwise just hold on to or, you know, go do other, like, uh negative things right but if you can like write a song about it and like actually put your feelings into words like this i think it'd be such like a healthy form of uh therapy somewhat right but it's 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 also just nice to be able to like speak your mind freely and just get whatever feelings you have to get out so this is definitely like a very personal track for flux but it's also one of those kinds of like just had to get some feelings out just had to get some emotion out right so, uh if you're if you definitely relate to it great if you don't relate to it, great, because you can enjoy it for what the sound is, 100%. Um, so well done, my friend. Well done. Uh, so with that said, make sure you go subscribe to Flux on YouTube. They are one sub away from 550, so make sure you go show them some love over there. Uh, I'll drop them a sub right now, so make sure y'all go uh, drop Flux a sub and get them to uh, 560. Uh, and of course, make sure, <laughs> make sure you follow Flux on Twitter as well. Uh, they're approaching 2.5k on the bird app, my friends. And of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Monday's YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, we're approaching 260 subscribers on the main channel. So make sure you go show uh, these artists and the channel some motherfucking love. Because we upload two jobs a week, man. Uh, Thursday, every Saturday. Full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, a lot of good stuff is over there. So make sure you go show uh, these artists and the channel some motherfucking love, baby. Let's go. All right. Um, let's see here. We <clears throat> left off with the homie Flux. Up next is Broken Nomads, aka Chemical Shift. Let's fucking get it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's get into it. It's been a while since we heard from Broken Nomads, man. For sure, for sure. So we got a Chemical Shift track titled Glitch. Thank you for your support. Well, thank you for your submission, my friend. Much love. Um. But let's get into it, man. Um, let's see. So this is from a new beginning. Seven song called Glitch. It was track five. All right. Let's get into it. Chemical Shift Glitch. 
Let's get it. Interesting sample usage. Okay, this is very interesting. What the fuck? This like drowned out kind of feel to it. Interesting intro for sure. Structure's great. Really solid sample uses too.
insane. Insane. Definitely, like, super well-crafted, to be honest with you. Like, super, super fucking well-crafted if, if, uh... If I do say so myself, especially for something of that length, right? I mean, A New Beginning is 10 minutes long. Kind of crazy. It's actually one of the more shorter songs on the project, which is nuts. Really, really nuts. But, um... Yeah. This was actually fucking fantastic, so... Uh, we're gonna talk about three things here. Uh, we're gonna talk about the... Or no, I'm, I'm sorry, we're gonna talk about two things, because obviously no vocals. So, we're gonna talk about the instrumental, and we're gonna talk about the overall theme of Glitch. So, uh, it definitely gave me that, like, futuristic sci-fi mixed with, like, house pop-ish kind of vibes as well, and it had this deep, like, uh, electronic feel too, so, um, there was a lot of vibes floating around in this one for sure. Um... Let's talk mix. Uh, fantastic. Nothing clashing, too overbearing. Nothing that really, like, stuck out to me that was, like, a bit off or anything like that. Especially for, like, what this track is and how long it is and, uh, the length and, and, you know, how it progresses and, and, uh, for everything that's going on in it. I, I think it was a great mix, to be honest with you. Nice, long, silent, short intro. Um, well, not short, but, but, like, one of those that, that, like, slowly progresses kind of deal. Um... And then, um, drums were level. Yeah, nothing that really, like, stuck out to me that was too off, like I said. Um, definitely a solid instrumental mix. Especially, again, for its length, for sure. Uh, so super consistent. Definitely. Um, instrumental shining star. It's gotta be the structure. There's no way it's not the structure. It's gotta be the structure. Just, just because of the way it was, it, it was laid out, it, it made for a five minute plus song to actually progress and like continue to just like um evolve but also stay the same as well right so it's one of those that like if you're gonna have those longer length tracks uh, i think i think structure is everything and um i think chemical did a really good job with structure here for sure so for me structure absolutely um let's talk theme so uh aesthetics obviously a new beginning is a seven track project right so uh, it looks like they combined all of the covers into one cover, which is actually really fucking sick. Um, I like that idea, that idea a lot. And then, of course, you have a new beginning in the middle. Um, so that's fire. That's fire. I definitely like this idea. Definitely. It's, it's not one that I've seen before, per se, but I like it nonetheless, especially for, like, a compilation kind of album, right? Not as, like, an official release or, you know, a theme or anything like that. Uh, solid. I like the idea. It's creative. Definitely creative. Um... Overall theme, Glitch. I mean, the title is pretty self-explanatory, right? I definitely felt like it was very uh, science fiction-esque uh, glitch, you know, kind of space electronic roguelike kind of track. So I feel like Glitch was like a perfect idea, but also especially towards the end and the beginning. Like you could just kind of tell it was almost like a, I felt like a, like one of those like internet like compilation tracks that like just have like hackers or like from like a tv show or some shit like that and and it's it's just playing music like this a track like this could fit behind that perfectly um but i think uh one of the really uh redeeming qualities of this was its progression and uh its structure for sure so um with that said huge shout out to chemical alert thank you so much for this submission my friend much much love make sure you go follow them on spotify and of course, make sure you follow Broken Nomads on Twitter. Uh, they are seven followers away from uh, 900. And so uh, go over there on the Bird app and uh, go show them some love, man. Love, god darn it. And of course, uh, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the upload. And of course, uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. We're approaching 260 subaroonies on the main channel, my friends. So uh, if you haven't subbed, make sure you go do so. And a uh, huge shout out to everybody that already has. Because uh, we upload two times a week, man. Uh, every Thursday, every Saturday. Full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, and a whole lot of good jazz is over there. Let's fucking get it. Um, okay, so we're about halfway through the show, man. Uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break. I don't need everybody to get up, go get a snack, go get a drink, go do whatever you need to do, man. Go walk the dog, go get a smoke, go do anything like that. And when Music Mondays returns, we'll continue into our community. Emissions. Go anywhere.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here live with the Music Mondays podcast episode 167. I hope you're well, hope you're chilling, hope you had a good break. But we have our time. So, uh, let's crank through some more submissions, shall we? Uh, up next, we have the homie Kale Plant, aka Kale. It's been a while since we heard from Kale in the Music Mondays podcast, for sure. Uh, Kale's been killing it, man. Uh, ever since Kale joined Harry World, I've had the experience of actually working with Kale a lot. So, uh, um, this is going to be fun. This is definitely going to be fun. Uh, Kale, a very talented alternative producer, submitted Look Down. I'm down. Let's get it. Now, uh, Kale made sure that I did not listen to this yet because uh, I had to promote it. So, I have the first listen. Kale, Look Down. Slides are crazy. The drums. Perfect drop. outro insane outro all right bro what the fuck okay so now i know why kale said don't fucking listen to it because it's gas uh god damn okay 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 this is a very zom-esque beat for sure so this will be fun to deconstruct here for sure all right um let's break this down so obviously no vocals, so we're going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about the metal, and we're going to talk about the overall theme of Look Down. So, um, instrumental mix is fantastic. Uh, it has the perfect amount of mud without being, like, too muddy, for sure. Um, that's one thing that I love about this, because with a lot of these, like, acoustic guitar-based beats, or just guitars in general, sometimes the drums, like, you know, you want them to bang, but if you make them bang too hard, then they just turn out super muddy. I feel like Kale hit like the really good sweet spot here for this track, without a doubt. Um, so the mix is fantastic. Everything's super level. Drums are great. Snare's great. 808's great. Kicks are definitely great. No gripes at all. Um, there's not many cases where Kale has like weird instrumentals. You know what I mean? So um, I definitely think that uh, this isn't like a shocker, but definitely something you always want to point out for sure. Uh, so instrumental mix, fantastic. Uh, instrumental shining star. Um, hmm. You know, I really like the melody a lot, and the structure. The structure and the melody are both A plus, but I think the drums are are where it sold me, especially for the kick in the eight oh eight. It was perfect. It was it was just so perfect for this kind of style. So for me, I'm definitely gonna have to go drums, but structure and melody are right behind it for sure, especially structure. Um, so it smells solid. 
Uh, definitely the drums. Let's talk theme. Uh, aesthetics. I like the choice of a soft Goku picture, especially with like this quality, cause cause it's 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 like from that like fucking like a Majin Buu saga era, right? So so it so it has a very like specific flavor to it. I like a lot. And then of course, uh, the Goku quote at the beginning, along with the Dragon Ball Z uh, sound effect as well. So there's just a little bit of a a, a oath right there to uh, Dragon Ball Z. Here. And then of course the title look down right so it it, it all really kind of ties together i think kale did a really good job uh coming up with like a light theme for this like if you don't want to go too far in right um coming up with like a light theme like this is great because you still get to show off the instrumental but it's a bit more personalized right so that's why i like this theme a lot um and i used to talk about this a lot in 2022 but kale's one of the only producers not the only right there's probably about like five or ten i could probably name off the top of my head but Kale's one of the only producers around that consistently puts out their own music as a producer, right? Isn't so worried about placements and things like that. Like, they would love to work with artists, and they continue to work with artists, but they're also a producer that has their own brand and platform and sound that they'd like to push as well, right? Especially when it comes to instrumental albums and being able to, like, express yourself, right? Kale is a producer that expresses himself through their production, especially from, you know, like... Making this type of style, people are just so worried about, you know, placements and this and leases and da 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 da. Kale's like a producer's producer for sure. Um, no doubt. So this was this was great and uh, definitely proud of Kale and all the progress that they made, without a doubt for sure. So uh, definitely want to see Kale on, on, on the uh, Music Money's podcast uh, way more often. Way, way more often. So with that said, a huge shout out to you. Kale. Thank you so much for the submission, my friend. Much, much love. Make sure you go follow Kale on SoundCloud. They are one follower away from 440 some love and of course make sure you follow kale on twitter as well uh there's three followers away from 300 or uh, 660 so put them some love over there on the bird at my friend and of course every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the youtube re-upload and of course make sure you subscribe to the music monday's youtube channel if you haven't already we're approaching 260 subscribers uh we upload two times a week every thursday every saturday podcast episodes exclusive segments a whole lot of good stuff man so make sure you go show these artists on the channel some motherfucking love and if you already have thank you thank you thank you we appreciate you here at music monday so uh we left off with the whole kale up next is mac two times now mac's been killing it in 2024 uh we've seen uh a couple of really solid singles and and they've just been keeping on building their library so i'm definitely excited to see what mac has here this week for us now mac a very talented uh hip-hop vocalist submitted get up now shit i wonder i have a feeling this is going to be one of the more harder tracks i'd assume for mac two times so uh let's get into it man let's get into it for sure mac two times get up now Interesting instrumental choice too. I swear I've been down for so damn long. Yeah, so I really need long. to get up now. Up now Lately now. I've been going for thousands of yards, but Yo. still I ain't getting no touchdown. I've been touchdown. getting fucked up by everyone around me. Yeah. Be calling no damn fast. Yeah, tell me why my fast. own pants do not believe must be mistaking me for a dumb clown. Don't push that shit to the side. I side. know I'ma get to the top like I'm balling in uptown. Up that shit adding fuel to the flame. I love right. it when niggas put on me that good doubt. Good been waiting for the moment that I look down on you niggas since I was a little child. And I ain't stopping no time soon. Not till I sit on a thorn the king crown steady asking what more do you want from me doing multiple things but you'll never see please tell me to this day why you don't believe that the way i've been working i won't achieve too much stress and shit making me want to cheat i just wish i could come down slow like a leaf i know i don't open a lot it's just something about me like the boxes i keep it brief keeping it brief like some boxes replacing my life it moves too fast i'm thinking about sewing it down with the walker yeah yeah down with the walker won't let nobody in i'm pulling the wall i won't break i won't be in here like a mother can tell my Problems as you hear the music that's constantly yeah, keeps me going much farther. Yeah, 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 constantly going much farther. Yeah, what an insurance. Oh, what? What, what an interesting instrumental. Won't let nobody in. I pull in the wall. I won't break. I won't be in here. Yeah, like I'm out. I can't tell my problems as you hear the music that's constantly keeps me going much farther. I swear I've been down for so damn long. Yeah, I really need to get up now. Lately, I've been going. 
off for thousands of yards, but still I ain't getting no touchdowns. I been getting fucked up, but everyone wrong could run. Don't be calling no damn fouls. Don't tell me why my own pants do not believe must be mistaking me for a dumb clown. Don't push that shit to the side. I know I'ma get to the top like I'm balling in uptown. That shit added fuel to the flame. My lover with niggas put on me that good doubt. Been waiting for the moment that I look down on you niggas since I was a little child. And I ain't stopping no time soon. Not till I sit on the throne with the king crown. Okay. Let's fucking go, Mac. I guess it's not really that crazy of an instrumental choice. Like, like, like this is definitely a, uh, an instrumental that I could see Mac picking. Like, like at first I, I, I was a little thrown off, but then like it, as the song progressed, you could kind of see how it was like a Mac two times kind of instrumental for sure. But um, all right, let's talk about it, man. Uh, we're gonna talk about three things here. We'll talk about the instrumental. We're gonna talk about vocals. And we're going to talk about the overall theme of Get Up Now. So, um, let's talk instrumental. Uh, instrumental mix. Fantastic. Uh, nothing clashing, too overbearing. Nothing that really, like, threw me off whatsoever, to be honest. Um, everything's super even. Nice, nice and level. Nothing that, that, uh, I have, I have any gripes with, if you will. So, um, instrumental is definitely solid where it's at. Uh, instrumental shining star. You know, I think it might be the melody. I feel like the melody is going to be one of the reasons why uh, people come back to this, right? As, especially if it's a track that you fuck with. Like, the melody is just so rememberable. But when, you know, you've heard a lot of Max catalog, it, it, it like, throws you for a loop a little bit. So that's why I think it's cool. Um, definitely sick. Definitely sick. So probably the melody. Drums are a close second, though. Um, instrumental solid, definitely the melody. Um... Let's talk uh, vocals. Uh, vocal mix. Actually fantastic, to be honest with you. Uh, once again, nothing clashing to overbearing. Uh, vocals definitely sat nice in the instrumental. Drums cut through nicely for sure. Um, nothing that really like ultimately uh, threw me off with vocals either. Uh, as of lately, Max had like really... But not really a shocker, but something I always want to point out for anybody who's new. Uh, definitely. Definitely. So um vocal mix great absolutely great right where it needs to be especially for mac uh vocal shining star um hmm hmm you know I feel like it is the uh, flowing cadence and delivery. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I really think it's the flowing cadence and delivery. But if I'm being so real, um, writing was definitely up there for sure, but flowing cadence and delivery on an instrumental like this was great. So um, definitely flowing cadence. And delivery. So instrumental solid, vocal solid. Let's talk theme, uh, aesthetics. A fantastic cover, to be honest with you. Mac always kind of comes through with these, like, very, like, uh, descriptive kind of covers like they just always like give me the vibe that the song gives especially like when you uh when you look back at like like after the first listen right i i, I feel like it's very crucial to, like think about it after you've already listened to the track and before but this one definitely has that like grimy like motivational kind of feel to it 100 percent. so solid definitely solid and very simple as well um so aesthetic sound point uh overall theme um essentially mac has been coming through with a lot of these tracks about just not giving up and talking about how um they don't give a fuck you know what i mean and and it's really good to have confident songs like this like like i really think this is this is a great motivating factor for not only you but other people right i i i think it's a very like go-getter mentality i think it's something that every artist kind of needs every once in a while like it's really great to let your emotions uh take over tracks um but you can let other emotions take over too you know what I mean? And always switch it up a bit. Mac always does a really good job switching it up. So uh, definitely another motivational track from uh, Mac Two Times for sure. So with that said, a huge shout out to Mac Two Times. Thank you so much for the submission, my friend. Much, much love. Make sure you go follow Mac on SoundCloud. There are eight followers away from 30. Uh, and of course, make sure you follow uh, Mac on Twitter as well. There are five followers away from 70. So show him some love over there on the bird app, my friends. And of course, uh, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode. Will be links in the description of the YouTube re-upload.
And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Mondays YouTube channel if you haven't already. We're approaching 260 subaroonies, my friends. Uh, we're about one away. We upload two times a week, every Thursday, Saturday. Uh, full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, a whole lot of good jazz over there. So, uh, you know, these artists on the channel, some motherfucking love. And if you already have, thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you here at Music Mondays. So, um, that was Mac, man. Uh, huge shout out to Mac two times. That was great. That was absolutely great. Um, up next, we have the homie, Nicole G. Uh, been a couple of weeks since we heard from Nicole. Um, a very, very talented alternative vocalist submitted escape. Now, uh, the last few of their submissions have been fantastic. So, uh, I'm definitely excited to see what Nicole has been up to, um, as of lately. Okay, so this was from 2023. Not, like, super brand new, but not super old either. Uh, September of last year, right? So definitely not super old. Um, okay, let's get into it. Nicole G. Escape. I still remember Ocean Drive when we first met. It caught me by surprise. I still remember Ocean Drive. Fire, absolute fire. Real heavy R and B summer kind of like lighter vibes here for sure. Uh, well done, well done. Uh, let's talk about it. Let's break it down. Let's uh, see what we got here. So, uh, we're gonna talk about three things. We're gonna talk about the instrumental. We're gonna talk about vocals, and we're gonna talk about the overall theme of Seascape. So, um, instrumentals fantastic. To be honest with you, I, f I feel like these types of instrumentals are perfect for Nicole. Uh, the majority of the tracks that we've heard have had this like very much like alternative uh <clears throat> r&b kind of flavor so i like the choice regardless uh instrumental mix is fantastic uh especially the great uh drums are great nothing clashing to overbearing vocals sit nice drums cut through nicely nothing that's like overly off here melody's good uh instrumental mix is solid definitely um hmm Instrumental Shining Star. Um, you know, I like the structure a lot. 
I definitely think that's up there. But if I have to pick and I'm gonna pick, it's gotta be uh the drums. Gotta be the drums for sure. Cause it it, it has that slow R and B vibe to it, but it still punches just as hard. So it's gotta be the drums for me. Gotta be the drums. Um, so instrumental solid, definitely the drums. Let's talk vocals. Uh, vocal mix is great. Nicole has a, a wonderful uh, natural voice, so not too much uh, processing is needed here, which is great uh, for anybody, of course, unless it, you know, you're making some kind of uh, different sound, right? But um, again, a vocal mix right where it needs to be. Um, <clears throat> still natural, but it's cleaned up a bit, has that elbow grease in it as to where um, it sounds fresh and, and uh, very wide, right? Um, but again, yeah, nothing clashing to overbearing. None, none, none. Nothing that really, like, tweaked me out at all, to be honest with you. Um, vocal set nice, definitely. Drums cut through nicely. Yeah, nothing uh, that, that really threw me off at all. So, um, vocal mix, definitely fantastic. Um, hmm. Vocal shining star. You know, I was going to say flow and cadence and delivery. <clears throat> But I do like the hook a lot, and I just like the writing in general. I feel like the writing, again, is very, like, vivid and poetic and descriptive as well. But probably the hook. Probably the hook, if, if I'm being totally honest with you. Uh, definitely got to be the hook, for sure. Just because I feel like that would stick with you uh, on the first listen a lot, if, especially if you've never heard of uh, Nicole. So uh, definitely the hook for me, for sure. Um... Hmm. So instrumental solid, uh, definitely the drums. Vocal solid, definitely the hook. Uh, let's talk theme. Uh, aesthetics. I mean, shit. For for a song called Seascape Man, I don't think you can get any fucking uh more accurate than this. This is a great, great photo. To be honest with you, really, 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 really solid. <laughs> so I like that choice a lot, especially for the title. Um. So overall theme seascape right kind of like you know escaping by the sea or or really just kind of like uh you know speaking a bit on just having that peace right and and nicole speaks on uh you know it's kind of a feeling that money can't buy you know being by the water and by the ocean with you know somebody that you care about right like 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 i think that's the ultimate bliss for sure i totally agree so i felt like uh i knew where she was coming from there 100 percent. so a great theme uh a simple theme and a very peaceful theme and Something that I think, uh, you know, artists artists can do more than they think that they can do. Sometimes you can like dumb down your themes and go really simple and still get a lot of emotion out, right? So, uh, well done, well done. Huge shout out to Nicole G. Thank you so much for the submission, my friend. Much much love. Make sure you go follow them on Spotify, and of course, make sure you follow Nicole on Twitter. Uh, they are four followers away from three hundred and twenty. So go show them some love over there on the bird app, my friend. And of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked. In the description of the YouTube upload. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Monday's YouTube channel if you haven't already. We're approaching 260 subscribers on the main channel. Uh, huge shout out to everybody that's already subbed, though, man. You guys are amazing. Uh, of course, we upload two times a week, every Thursday, every Saturday. Full podcast episode, exclusive segments, a whole lot of good jazz is over there. Go show the channel. These are some love. And again, if you have, thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, we left off with the homie Nicole. Up next is Braden. Now, Braden has been killing it uh, with their uh, recent EP, dropping singles, just really coming into 2024 strong. And this week, they submitted Won't Be Sober. This <laughs> The April Fool's Day is suspicious, but I'll ignore it. Braden's a legend. Nah, nah, we would never. We would never. Uh, April Fool's was, was kind of weak today, I'm not going to lie. I didn't get baited too hard. I, I, I mean, I kind of got baited, but not like usually how, how bad it is. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Brain's a very, very talented alternative vocalist, and they submitted Won't Be Sober. So let's check this out. Pop it open a new tab. Let's see what we got. I think this is like, uh, this is like the last track that we uh, haven't uh, reacted to yet. So this is track four. All right, let's get into it. Brayden Won't Be Sober. Okay. Very interesting instrumental. Be nuts. Be so dramatic. My friend's getting colder. Give me the cold shoulder. No, I won't be sober for too long. I want this to be over. I know I'm not a soldier. Keep my thoughts in my folder. 
Damn, that was a crazy, crazy last track for a project. It, it had that outro feel, but it was so fucking meaningful. I could see that being like a lot of people's favorites on the whole thing, if I'm being so honest. Um, that was fucking great. Um, that was absolutely great. 100%. Very peaceful. Very honest. Very true. So, um, let's break it down. Let's talk about it. We're going to talk about uh, three things here. Talk about the instrumental, talk about vocals, and we're talk about the overall theme of Won't Be Sober. Um, instrumental is fantastic. Um, absolutely fantastic. I love the pick, uh, but let's talk mix. Um, mix is great. Nothing clashing to a bearing. Um, nothing that really stuck out to me as like off-putting at all. Melody's great. Vocals sit nice. Everything cuts through nicely. Nothing that was like off-putting whatsoever. Um, and again, Brain's an artist. Uh, uh, that always has a very like good lock on their mix, right? And 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 they definitely know where they should be at for certain songs. And uh, this one's definitely up there, especially as far as the instrumental goes, right? So uh, instrumental mix, fantastic. Uh, instrumental shining star. Um, gotta be the melody, right? Gotta be the melody. I feel like that was the most like attention motion grabbing. Gotta be the melody for sure. It's gotta be uh yeah for me anyway definitely uh so instrumental solid definitely in the melody let's talk uh vocals vocal mix again fantastic this is this is a more a melodic kind of track so uh the vocals definitely had to be on point and i feel like uh this mix was great really really great uh nothing clashing to overbearing per usual um uh, again vocals sit nice everything cuts through nicely nothing that's like off balance or anything like that uh the processing is great Nothing that, like, is, like, super, like, fucking crazy, right? Like, like it, it totally didn't throw me off at all. So I thought the mix on this was absolutely fantastic, especially for the vocals. Um, super crisp, clean, clear, absolutely. Um, hmm. Okay, vocal mix, fantastic. Vocal, vocal shining star. Um, I like everything, man. The writing's great. The flowing cadence is great. The hook, though. I think the hook is where I'm sold. It's catchy. It's memorable. It's gonna be one of those hooks that, like, it, it, if it hits you, it's gonna fucking hit you for sure. Um, so for me, on this one, the hook. It's gotta be the hook. I like the hook a lot. For sure. So, uh, instrumental solid, definitely melody. Vocal solid, definitely the hook. Uh, let's talk theme. So, again, uh, I spoke a little bit about this cover, uh, prior to uh the rest of these tracks right but um just for those of you that haven't heard me speak um this is a great concept especially for like a, a like a smaller project right you kind of go with like the irl choice except you know, uh, uh fry it up a little bit throw a blue filter on this one's great though especially for like a like a small like four track e uh i like this one a lot very intimate very personal and you guys know how i feel about the uh yeah irl covers right so um, this one's great, absolutely. Especially the blue. I like the blue a lot. Um, so overall theme, uh, won't be sober, of course. Um, realistically, the short answer is, uh, you know, 
a lot of people can relate to this one in, in, in terms of like, you know, dealing with life stuff, right? A lot of people are drinkers, some people are smokers, everybody has their vices, right? And uh, I think Braden speaks on this pretty well when it comes down to like dealing with other outsider shit, but also having to like deal with your own vices as well. So I think um, vices is definitely like a main subject here, but also Braden uses it as an opportunity to like really uh, elaborate on that and kind of talk about situations where you might just not want to be sober. You know what I mean? So I think Braden does a really good job kind of breaking it down in like a lighter way, you know? Uh, so well done, my friend. Well done. Uh, huge shout out to Braden. Thank you so much for your submission, my friend. Much, much love. Make sure you go follow them on Spotify. And of course, make sure you follow Braden on Twitter. Uh, they're approaching 70 followers. They're only seven away. So go show them some love in the bird app, my friend. Of course, every hour is featured in today's episode and every single will be linked in the description of YouTube re-upload. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Monday's YouTube channel if you haven't already. We're approaching 260 subscribers. Uh, we upload two times a week, per usual, every Saturday. Uh, full podcast. This segment's a whole lot of good jazz is over there, my friend. So, uh, go show these artists in the channel some love, and if you already have, thank you. We appreciate you here at Mondays. So, uh, up next, we have the homie Laveries, man. Laveries have been killing it in 2024 with their um, new content series on YouTube. But I believe this is their first song of 2024. Tatted on my mind. But last week, we were able to go through some behind-the-scenes footage and watch them record this. Now, we finally get to react to it. So, Laveries, a very talented hip-hop artist, submitted Tatted on my mind. Let's check this out. Well, let's see what we got here. A little, a little Spotify link. Let's get it. Okay, uh, Laveries, tatted on my mind. She said she don't want to see me again, bitch, that's too bad. I'ma stay right here, right by your side, just don't get too mad. I'ma be this way until I die, babe, you knew that. Fuck about what they say, it's you and I, till we both pass. Honestly, you tatted on my mind, how you do that? Baby, just come hop up in this ride, we gon' cruise that. For that damn alarm, I won't be with you, I'ma snooze that. For that damn job, won't make me rich, don't care to lose that. I did it to that body, wanna fuck you, cause you so bad. Put that ass up on me how you want it slow or super fast i'm just trying to fuck you till you come till you come the way i'm in it you think i'm the one that's because i am baby you want me to hold you in the shade at your mind baby we've been okay for some time i think that it's finally the time to make you my wife sure i want you for life she said she don't want to see me again bitch that's too bad i'ma stay right here right by your side just don't get too mad i'ma be this way until i die babe you knew that Fuck about what they say it's you and i till we both pass i know that you're trying to get me drunk get me drunk i'ma smoke i love weed but i'm still gonna drink the cup yep. you love to take this dick from me and put it in your guts and you want to copy of me because you love me too damn much ay. i want to clone on YouTube, I'm tryna fuck you all day. That pussy like a song I made. I need that shit on replay. I love it even better when you tell me how it feels. When I fill you up, I want you on my tongue just like a pill. You want me to hold your hand and shade at your mind, baby? We've been fucking for some time. I think that it's finally the time to make you my wife. Sure, I want you for life. She said she don't want to see me again, bitch. That's too bad. I'm gonna stay right here. I just don't get too mad I'ma be this way until I die Babe, you knew that she said she don't want to see me again, bitch, that's too bad. I'ma stay right here, right by your side, just don't get too mad. I'ma be this way until I die, babe, you knew that. Fuck about what they say, it's you and I, till we both pass. Fuck about what they say, it's you and I, till we both pass. You the one for me, I'm trying to make sure that you know that. Greatest love song ever made, I wrote that about you, yeah. Okay. I see the vision. I see the vision. This is a really solid uh uh instrumental choice for sure. Like hearing it in full quality and, and everything now, uh I definitely see the vision for sure. I see the vision. Uh let's break this one down, man. Let's talk about it. So we're gonna talk about three things here. Uh we're talking about the instrumental. 
Uh, we're gonna talk about vocals, and we're gonna talk about the overall theme of Tatted on My Mind. So, uh, instrumental. Again, I like the choice. Uh, let's talk instrumental mix. Um, really solid, to be honest with you. I like the vocal sample in this. I like the drums. The melody's great. Uh, everything about the instrumental is definitely on point, for sure. Um, nothing clashing to overbearing. Nothing that, that like, like struck out to me. I was like, eh, you know, could have been better. Nah. I like the instrumental a lot. Uh, very alternative R&B kind of flavor. Um, for sure. For sure. Um, instrumental shining star uh great question so um hmm you know i was gonna say the vocal sample i like that one in the background a lot but i'm gonna have to go with drums just because um the drums keep up that punch that i think this needed because it's still a very like soft and like slow kind of instrumental so when you add in these drums it, it, it totally gives it like the little bit of attitude that I feel like this track needs for sure. Um, so definitely drums, 100%. For sure. Uh, so instrumental solid. Let's talk vocals. Uh, vocal mix. Great. Uh, Laverius has a very like interesting voice that they're always developing, right? So this is very much an artist that is always progressing when it comes down to how they record and their mixing and things like that. So uh, this is a very progressive artist for sure. Uh, but vocal mix for where it's at, definitely solid for sure. Nothing clashing to overbearing. Nothing that, like, uh, kind of threw me off at all, to be honest with you. Um, vocals sit nice in the instrumental. Everything cuts through nicely. Thinking back on it, nothing that really, like, stuck out to me as super odd, to be honest with you. So, um, definitely, definitely solid uh, vocal mix for sure. Vocal Shining Star. Um, you know, I'm kind of torn between the hook and just writing in general. To be honest with you, I like the hook, but I feel like the writing overall was very like Laveries, but it was also like new and improved, like 2024 or back. So I'm gonna have to go with writing, to be honest with you. Definitely writing, just because it was like, like you had to like pay attention, you know? Uh, so definitely writing for sure. Um, so instrumental solid, definitely the drums, vocal solid, definitely the writing. Uh, overall theme, let's talk. Aesthetics, fantastic. I love this fucking cover art concept. Uh, whoever did this did a really good job. It's simple, it's effective. I think the foreground is really fucking solid. Uh, and of course you have like the whole font in the mind itself, right? Parental advisory bottom right. Color palette's great. Uh, I like this cover a lot, 100%. Like this is a fantastic cover. So um, no gripes here at all. Definitely not. Uh, whoever did that did a really good job. Uh, overall theme, tied on my mind. Uh, relatively obvious, right? I think Laverie speaks on uh, a lot of, like, relationship uh, ups and downs, right? And also kind of, like, speaking on dedication towards their partner, right? So it's a little bit of a mix of that, but it's also, like, a big mix of, like, a, uh, a lot of punchlines and a lot of, like, okay, like, you really want to, like, take in the lyrics on this one, but there is, like, a more lighthearted theme uh, for Tad on my mind. I think Laverie did a good job, for sure. So, uh, well done, my friend. Well done. Uh, make sure you go follow uh, Laveries on uh, Spotify. And thank you so much for your submission. Uh, and, of course, make sure you follow Laveries on Twitter as well. They are two followers away from 120. So, uh, show them some love on Bird at my friends, per usual. And, of course, uh, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in of the YouTube free upload. Uh, and, of course, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. We uh two times a week. Saturday, whole podcast up segments a lot of good stuff is available over there on the music monday channel uh and a huge shout out to you if you already have subscribed you're amazing thank you uh so up next we got the homie jordan now jordan's have been submitting some fucking heat lately uh but a lot of tracks that they produced this week we have a demo titled do my thing well shit all right so for those of you that don't know jordan a very talented uh alternative artist and producer uh, has been killing it this year in 2024. So uh, let's see what we got here from the homie Jordan. Uh, I think we do have some vocals. This is very interesting. Rod Jordan, let's get into it. Jordan, do my thing demo. Okay. 
happens I just hope it's known I am for real I mean whatever happened to the way things always used to feel I think whatever happened to them might happen to me as well I'm still learning magic I just made my thoughts come real I try to try to tell them don't let it get to that point my text say this is the ankle knee the elbow this is the joint most of the time you find me right here trying to keep it going in my head, I cannot rest until I'm finally closer. I'm underneath the underground, I hear them stomping over. I dig their stuff, I love the sound, I see them crossing over. I try to reach up to the ground, I'm still hit with the gophers. I'm trying to be more subtle now, I need to be more sober. Before I'm jumping in a puddle, how it gets all over. A few regrets about something now, now I don't need closure. Oh, I try to shit. keep composure. Whatever I face, whatever it takes, I let off the brakes. I'm taking up space, I'm thinking it's great, like nothing's a waste. I'm dumping my face, I'm jumping for plays I'm singing for cash, I hope that it lasts My hope comes in last, I wrote for the past I go back too fast, I know now to ask You know not to ask, I used to hold it back And I'm still holding back, and I know it's bad Until now, it all just echoed And I had to cope with that, you had to let go I had something special, and it'll never end so yeah. Whatever happens, I just hope it's known I am for real I mean, whatever happened to the way things wow. I used to feel I think whatever happened to them might happen to me as well I'm still learning magic, I just made my thoughts come real Okay, this was sick. This was really fucking sick. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I I didn't know what I was expecting, right? Cause uh, um, Jordan always can just throw us off, right? Uh, who knows what they're gonna come up with, right? Cause they're so versatile that they can really do almost anything. So I was kind of open minded here. I was like, all right, like what's this about to be? And Jordan killed it, man. Absolutely killed it. So uh, let's get into it. Let's talk about it. So uh, we're gonna talk about three things here. We're gonna talk about the instrumental. We're gonna talk about vocals. And we're we'll talking about the overall theme of Do My Thing. So, um, instrumental, fantastic. Rod Jordan, per usual. Um, nothing clashing to overbearing. Nothing that really, like, you know, threw me off or anything like that. Um, Jordan is a producer that uh, tends to have a very uh, solid mix on majority of their tracks, right? So, not really a surprise. But uh, for anybody new, um, obviously, you always want to point it out. So, instrumental mix, definitely solid. Um, especially with the sample at the, uh, start and end, I, th I thought that was a great idea. Um, speaking of which, Instrumental Shining Star. Um, <clears throat> there's a couple of things I like about the instrument, right? Definitely the sample usage. Um, the melodies up there too, but I think the drums are like what was most like replayable in my head and something that like stuck with me uh after the first listen so for me probably drums but i think the other thing too that is definitely a close second is uh the sample use at the start and end but i thought that was great too uh but for me probably drums probably drums definitely it, it it had that like like this very subtle but like uh like in your face kind of sound for the drums definitely chill but not too chill um so instrumental solid uh let's talk vocals uh vocal 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 okay so uh vocal mix fantastic uh jordan went with like a more like less processed approach here which i thought was solid um and it is a demo right so it's not exactly like a final final um because this mix could always just be replaced but um I think for what it is, it's great. Um, again, nothing clashing to overbearing. It has like a very like chill approach to it when it comes to the vocal mix. Um, drums cut through nicely. Um, vocals sit nice. Nothing that I noticed that was like a bit off at all, to be honest. And especially it is a demo too, so you don't want to like dive into that too hard. But uh, for what it is, vocals are great, absolutely. Um, Vocal Shining Star. Honestly, 
yeah i was gonna say the hook at first but the writing throughout the whole fucking track is crazy so it's got to be the writing it's got to be the writing 100 percent. like just punchline after punchline and and like way that jordan has these like poetic bars is just it's kind of rare you know you, you you don't really see writing like this a lot um so that's where it's like okay like uh you 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 start to like see the vision and and, and you just want to dissect it more and more um so for me writing definitely 100 percent, 100 percent. uh so instrumental solid definitely in drums vocal solid definitely writing uh hook is a close second but uh let's talk theme aesthetics fantastic again like you guys know my um my feeling with a lot of these like uh more simple aesthetic covers they're great they're original and they're very peaceful especially for tracks that like uh, have a lot of like subtlety to them um i think this one's great 100 percent. i'm big on this one a lot um overall theme i mean do my thing right and kind of has like the vocal sample and so like obviously it's it's like inspired by the sample right but I think the more deeper theme here is Jordan kind of speaking on doing their thing and like making make it in their craft. They want to push their art. They want to continue to make art, but also not be dragged down by the bullshit, right? So there's there, there there's a very like heavy energy of that here, and uh, I think Jordan did a really good job kind of expanding on that, while also like letting their writing just kind of speak. There's a lot of like really simple, like solid bars in here, and then Jordan kind of has a lot of detail as well so it, it it was a really great mix to be honest with you really great mix of feeling and scriptedness for sure uh so with that said huge shout out to jordan thank you so much for the submission my friend much much love make sure you go follow jordan on soundcloud they are two followers away from 80 man go show him some love there and of course make sure you follow jordan on twitter they are two followers away from 420 and 420 is actually this month uh but yeah go show jordan some love on the bird app my friends and of course every artist featured in today's episode and every single will be links in the description of the youtube re-upload of course make sure you subscribe to the music monday's youtube channel if you haven't already we are approaching uh 260 subaroonies man for two times a week every thursday every saturday uh full podcast episodes exclusive segments and a lot of good jazz is over so uh, go show these artists in the channel some love and if you already have thank you thank you thank you we appreciate you here at music mondays my friend let's get it so uh i believe this is our last submission of the night and definitely last but not least uh, the homie Heavy Metaphors. It's been, uh, I'd say, like a couple months or so since we heard from Heavy, but uh, they've had a decent start to 2024 for sure. And uh, a very talented producer submitted a remix. Or is it a remix or is it something they prod? Oh, it looks like a little Heavy Metaphors in here. It's, it's, it's some, some little prime ordeal. Okay. Okay. Dang. All right. All right, let's get into it. Um, Something Citrus by Primordial. Proud heavy metaphors. Let's get into it. Interesting. Here we go, chat.
Everything that comes at your mouth must got hella toes. This is sick, so let me cut you off. XP hella toes. Just I think you must be drunk. Higher off the low, bitch. Just something I suppose this. Cause that shit was atrocious. It's trying to make some pain just to drop in the ocean. Been making so many moves. I'm sick off of emotion when I'm feeling mm. Gotta take a sip off that potion. I get the bread and bring the heat. Stand. Incredible, we've been finna get up on the battle still for a minute It's been a hit, been a given since in a row Do you kill me with my heavy and heavy metal For some decisions coming up, you better come with better flows If you said it, said it, if I said it, it's some envy, it's different souls I'm a fuck with bigot and idiot, so you best not come out rapping low Unless you wanna taste that water mention just a second ago Switch it up like tremolo I'm living, you said that the world that I'm living is fickle But the pain in my stomach growing so much, so I'm almost bitter Still coming to dumb, I'm afraid I'm only only one Who's still got a hole and said I'm just an empty hole Me go to zone, this is better though, why you're down though I don't give a fuck what the bitch may say in yeah. 12 years in the back. Beat is crazy. Lots of switch ups. I like it. It's solid. Interesting. Okay. That was quite the track, man. That was quite the track. Musical collected includes the talents of. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, uh, so you saw Prime Ideal, Heavy Metal. Okay, so this is their collective. I see. Something citrus. I see. All right, man. Uh, this was crazy. I didn't know it was like what I was supposed to expect for like a five plus minute track because I know Heavy has like more like all like alternative production style but they can really dive into almost anything right so um again i kind of want to keep an open mind for this one but uh this one was solid man this one was solid um let's talk about three things talk about the instrumental talk about vocals and talk about the overall theme of this track so um talk about instrumental um you know five plus minutes man so this instrumental had to have a couple things man had to have a good mix had to have a little bit of a, of like variety right uh, it, it it was always progressing and changing, but uh, definitely didn't stay the same. So um, let's start with the mix. Fantastic. Again, nothing clashing, too overbearing. Nothing that really like stuck out to me as off, to be honest with you. Especially like throughout the whole track, too. Like the whole five plus minutes, like between the beat switch, the drums, the vocals. Nothing really struck me off as super odd uh, at all. Especially with like the ad, ad libs and things like that. So uh, instrumental mix, uh, big W in my book for sure. Um, 
super solid. Now, the instrumental Shining Star is 100% got to be the 808s. I love the drums. I think Heavy Metaphors definitely destroyed the drums here a lot, especially throughout the whole track. Again, you know, because there is a beat switch here. So uh, I do think the drums were definitely fantastic, 100%. Structure's a close second, though. Structure's definitely a close second. Um, hmm. So instrumental solid, definitely the drums. Let's talk vocals. Uh, now, a prime is an artist that I don't think we've reacted to before uh, here on the show. If we have, it's definitely been like forever ago. Uh, but the mix was solid, especially for again what it is. Right, there's definitely a lot of variation here. There's a lot of flow switching. There's a lot of uh, you know working with this instrumental that a vocalist would have to do. So uh, for what this is, the it mix is great. Uh, nothing super clashy. Nothing like super overbearing at all. Especially with like the ad libs and things like that, uh, I think it's right where it needs to be. Super even. Nothing that like, uh, like stuck out to me as like super off putting. You know what I mean? Um, I definitely think the vocal mix is right where it needed to be. Again, especially for like the ad libs and things like that. So, uh, super solid, and uh, drums cut through nicely, and they definitely sat nice on the instrumental. So, um, mix solid. Vocal shining star. Um, probably flow and cadence and delivery. To be honest with you, uh, probably flow and cadence and delivery, 100%, just because there was a couple different flows, a couple different cadences, and, uh, especially, like, after the beat switch, like, like, the flow and cadence is insane, for sure. So, definitely flow and cadence and delivery. Uh, so, instrumental solid, definitely drums, vocal solid, flow and cadence, delivery. Let's talk theme. Aesthetics. Um, track title on the front, super, super fucking high quality. Um really solid for for a single like this even though it is like a bit longer it has this like uh big deal kind of vibe right and it's super high quality so that's like the other like really solid part about it so aesthetics definitely on point especially for a single without a doubt uh overall theme i definitely wouldn't say that there's like a super like one theme here i definitely think that this is one of those tracks where uh you got to listen to prime and and uh a lot of their uh lyrics and punchlines and things like that it's definitely more of like a turn up flash lyrical showcase for sure uh especially with it being so long and and, and it kind of switching up a little bit here or there so it's definitely like a big mix of like a good motivational kind of uh track but also uh turn up kind of like has that like gym uh late night drive kind of feel to it as well especially for like a party or something this would definitely this this would go hard or or, or even like at a show too right uh but yeah, uh, an overall theme. I mean, I definitely wouldn't search for one super deep. Uh, you definitely could, but this one was definitely a very much of a lyrical showcase, and uh, uh, you know, really showing off versatility. To be honest with you, because it's like a five minute track, and there's like three different flows. So, uh, well done, well done. This is solid. Uh, let's fucking get it. Huge shout out to Heavy Metaphors. Uh, make sure you go follow Something Citrus on SoundCloud. They are nine followers away from. 40. Uh, and of course, make sure you follow Heavy on Twitter. They are approaching 1.2k on the bird app, my friends. So make sure you go show Heavy some love over there on Twitter. And of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube re upload. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Mondays YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, we're approaching 260 subscribers. So uh, make sure you go check out the channel, show that some love. Uh, we upload two times a week, every Thursday, every Saturday. Full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, underground tips and tricks, and a whole lot of good jazz. Uh, it's available there, chat, so uh, make sure you go show the channel these are some love, man. If you already have. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you here at Music Mondays. Let's get it. So, um, that about does it for episode 167 of the Music Mondays podcast, my friends. Let's uh, close it out. Let's uh, go show some love to everybody who submitted. Let's talk about next week or so, and uh, let's talk about submissions and, and all that good jazz. So, uh, let's get it. I just want to get out some heads out here really quickly. Uh, big, big shout out to everybody that submitted, tuned in, and showed love tonight. Uh, huge shout out to uh, JT, Survival Negativity, Offspring, uh, Flux, Broken Nomads, Kale, of course, per usual, uh, Mac Two Times, Nicole G, Braden, Laveries, Jordan, and Heavy Metaphors. Thank you guys so much for all your submissions. You guys are fucking amazing. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Today was a great show, man. Today was a fucking great show. We had a great discussion segment, um, lots of reactions. Uh, this was this was really solid, really really fucking solid. If I do say so myself. 
Uh, but again, huge shout out to everybody that came through and showed love in the stream in the chat tonight. Even if you just lurked and chilled, thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by. Uh, huge shout out to Lattice. Thank you for coming through and showing some love. Uh, per usual, man, your Music Monday's weekly content will continue. Uh, the grind continues, my friends. We have a lot to get out. And of course, as I said, we're going to be focusing on our next album. So we're uh, finalizing some art here and uh, we're going to get the community involved really soon. Uh, so stay on, on the uh, lookout for that. Make sure you uh, keep your eyes posted. Uh, but per usual, uh, submissions open tomorrow for episode 168 of the Music Mondays podcast. So make sure you follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. TikTok, YouTube, all that good jazz. Uh, submissions will be live tomorrow afternoon. So again, if you're watching this live tomorrow, if you're watching this on YouTube, submissions are already open. So uh, make sure you uh, go drop your tracks, man. Make sure you check the date, all that good stuff. Uh, but yes, other than that, uh, Music Monday's basic logo t-shirts are available now. So make sure you get yours while you still can. And uh, once again, huge shout out to everybody that came through and showed love and submitted tonight, man. Uh, top three artists of tonight's episode will be tweeted out shortly after the show ends, per usual. Uh, and of course, as I said, make sure you follow Music Mondays on all platforms. Uh, all Music Mondays, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Threads, you name it, we're there. Uh, one sub away from 260 on YouTube, so make sure you go show the channel some love. Uh, and of course, stream us on all audio platforms, anchor.fm slash all Music Mondays. Uh, got a big week ahead of us, guys. A very big week, big articles, big uploads, big everything, man. So uh, stay tuned, be safe, make sure you follow Music Mondays everywhere. All the links are, good, are uh, down below as well. And of course, uh, make sure you follow, subscribe below, man. Follow the channel, all that good jazz. We are live like six, seven days a week. So make sure you go uh, hit that follow button if you haven't already. Uh, all my socials are linked down below. It's been your boy, Zom Slays. Love you guys. Take care. Be safe. And we'll see you tomorrow and next week for episode 168 of the Music Mondays podcast.